हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज एसी फंडामेंटल्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू एसी क्वांटिटीज एंड वील सॉल्व फ्यू न्यूमरिकल्स टू गेट एन आइडिया हाउ टू अप्लाई ऑल दिस एसी क्वांटिटीज दिस इज द टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू सब्जेक्ट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग विच इज फॉर द फर्स्ट इयर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव ड्रॉन वन वेव फॉर्म दिस इज नोन एज साइन वेव it starts from the value zero this waveform can be the waveform of current or voltage it is basically a graph of amplitude which is plotted on y axis this is known as y axis versus time which is plotted on x axis as shown in this diagram 0 to pi we are getting from the region 0 to pi we are getting positive values so this is known as positive half cycle reason is 0 to 2 pi represents one full cycle so 0 to pi is positive half cycle as it is on the positive side same way pi to 2 pi is another half cycle but it is on the negative side so it is negative half cycle this value 0 to 2 pi represents one complete cycle after this if i will continue drawing this diagram this graph will be continuous till infinity so this particular value after which same pattern of waveform repeats because this same waveform will repeat till infinity is known as fundamental period which is denoted by notation capital t so in this case fundamental period is 2 pi because after 2 pi values or graph repeats now there are different terms related to this graph first is the maximum value as shown in this diagram let us say this is the graph of current whatever i will be explaining for current same thing is applicable for voltage so if i am considering this is the graph of current then this particular value is the maximum value it is denoted by i m if it is a current if it is voltage we will denote it by vm like this this maximum value occurs at this time period say pi by 2 now if i will consider any instant do remember on this axis we have a time period if i will consider any instant say t1 which is between 0 to pi by 2 then whatever value of amplitude i will mark the lines like this on this axis here i will get some amplitude this amplitude which is at particular instant t1 is called instantaneous amplitude if it is current it is instantaneous current if it is voltage it is instantaneous voltage there are different other terms like rms value which is root mean square value it is related as rms value is 1 by root 2 times the maximum value maximum value is also known as peak value there is one more parameter related to peak value what i said this is the maximum value on the positive side which we represent which we denoted by i am for the current similarly this represents maximum value at the negative side if you calculate the distance between these two values this distance i am talking about it is known as peak to peak value the distance between positive peak and negative peak is known as peak to peak value now what i said rms current or rms value is 1 by root 2 times the maximum value there is one more term which is known as average value one more important thing this rms value is measured for one complete cycle keep in mind one complete cycle means positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle whereas average value is measured only for half cycle say from 0 to pi so from 0 to pi average value is measured it is actually the average of all values measured along the positive or negative half cycle any half cycle now we need different uh, uh, parameters for solving the numericals uh, so we will discuss all these things as we uh, i have explained peak to peak value is two times maximum value rms value is 1 by root 2 times maximum value average value is 0.637 times maximum value one important term is there which is called crest fact or form factor denoted by kf this is the form factor 
it is ratio of RMH to the average value. In the exam, if it, the question is a defined form factor, just remember this formula, you can uh, uh, write the answer on your own. How to do it? If the question is defined form factor for the current, since it is ratio of RMH to the average current, for current I will write it like this. Kf, form factor is denoted by Kf, is equals to I RMS upon I average. I RMS upon I average. Same way, crest factor, if in, I have to write in terms of current, it is uh, defined as ratio of peak value to the RMS value. So, Kp is peak value that is IM upon RMS value that is IRMS. Likewise, now, these are some basic terms related to AC quantities. We will solve few numericals to get an idea how to apply all these formulae. The first problem is a sinusoidal alternating current has RMS value. RMS value is given. So while reading question itself, note down the given values. This is the uh, equation related to current. So I am using notation I. So I RMS is the RMS current which is given as 40 amperes. Period is 20 milliseconds. This is the total period which is the period for one complete cycle. That means positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. So it is 20 milliseconds, which can be written as 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. If the waveform enters into positive half cycle at t is equal to 0, find instantaneous value at some different time periods are given. First step is, we have to draw the diagram. Now, how to draw the diagram? Make the thing simple. It is clearly mentioned in the question that it is a sinusoidal. Sinusoidal means sine wave. So, to start with, I will draw the diagram of sine wave like this. Why I started from this point? Very clear. It is mentioned in the question, waveform enters into positive half cycle. This is the positive half cycle. Waveform enters into positive half cycle at t is equal to 0. That means I will have to start positive half cycle from t is equal to 0. If suppose any waveform is given like this, it is not starting from 0, it is starting from some different point. Say it is starting from say pi by 3. This particular distance 0 to pi by 3 is known as a phase shift. Okay, presently there is no phase shift in this question. So I have drawn the waveform which started from origin. We know this is positive half cycle and second is negative half cycle. This complete period say this is pi, this is 2 pi, this complete period which is ideally from 0 to 2 pi is given in the question as t is equals to 20 milliseconds. This is given in the question so we don't have to use the values uh, 2 pi. Now first part is find instantaneous values at first quarter cycle. Before that I will tell you the standard equation of instantaneous current is I of t. Instantaneous current is denoted by I of t because it is changing with respect to time and it is given as I m, I m is the maximum value sin omega t plus phi. This is the standard equation. Do remember it. I m is the maximum value Omega is angular frequency, T is the time period. What is this phi? Just now I have explained you the concept of phase shift. If waveform is not starting from 0, say it is starting from pi by 3, in place of phi, I will have to put the value pi by 3. Presently, the waveform starts from 0, so there is no phase shift, so I am neglecting this term. So this is the simplest equation of instantaneous current. Now, this equation contains I m, that is the maximum value. How to calculate maximum value? We have the set of this ready-made formula. Now, look here. We have the available value of I R M S, that is R M S value, which is 1 by root 2 times maximum value. So from this second equation, this is first, this is second. From the second formula, I can write I R M S is equal to 1 by root 2 into I m. Therefore, I m, that is the maximum current, is root 2 times I r m s. Simply put the values, it is root 2 into, value of I r m s is given in the question, into 40. So, value of I m will be 
56 its current so its unit is amperes so what i did i have calculated the value of i m put the value of i m in the standard formula but also i need to put the value of omega omega is angular frequency <coughs> standard formula is 2 pi f do remember one more formula f is the frequency which is 1 by t t is known as fundamental period so <coughs> This equation I can write it as 2 pi upon t. Where value of t is given in the question that is 20 milliseconds which is 20 into 10 raised to uh, minus 3 seconds. So I will write this equation as omega is equals to 2 pi upon 20 into 10 raised to minus 3. So this is the value of omega. What I am supposed to do, I have to put the value of I m and sine of omega. I have to put value of omega over here into t. So, if you simplify this equation, then equation of I of t will be equal to value of I m is 56.56 sine of value of omega. I need to just simplify this value. So, it is 2 pi upon 20 into 10 raised to minus 3, which is 100 pi t. So this is the equation of I of t. This is known as instantaneous value of the current. Now first calculation. It is asked to calculate instantaneous value. See this is the equation. I need to put the value of t. This is t which is the time period. So for first part it is asked to calculate instantaneous value at quarter cycle. One complete cycle is denoted by t up to pi this length is naturally half length so it is t by 2 quarter means half of t by 2 so it is t by 4 so quarter time period will be t by 4 i will write it like this t by 4 which is 20 by 4 do remember 20 is in milliseconds i haven't converted yet so it is 5 milliseconds now the things are very simple in the first part what i am supposed to do this equation of instantaneous current I have already written. I have calculated the value of quarter time period, quarter cycle that is t by 4 which is 5 milliseconds. So answer of first part will be in place of t simply put 5 milliseconds. Remember it is 5 milliseconds that means I have to put 5 into 10 raised to minus 3. So if you put the value and solve the you know, this calculation on the calculator you will get the answer of first part that is i of t is equal to one more important thing while solving such things on the calculator strictly keep calci in a radian mode because you are considering value 100 into pi check the mode of calculation otherwise the entire calculations will be wrong so i of t answer will be again you are getting the same answer that is 56.56 after solving all these things on the calculator it is the current so unit is amperes second part t1 is 7 milliseconds simply you have to put the value of t that is 7 milliseconds 7 milliseconds is 7 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds so in place of t again put the values as i mentioned keep calci in radian mode because you are considering sine of 100 pi so answer of second part will be i of t is equals to 45.76 amperes same way third part 14 1 4 milliseconds so in place of t put the values 1 4 milliseconds that is 1 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 again do all these calculations on the calculator answer will be minus 53.8 amperes the current can be negative so answer is minus 53.8 amperes let us solve more numericals to get an idea of all such things. Next numerical, alternating current expression is given by, this is the equation of given current. Determine all these values, maximum value, RMS value of current, average value of current, form factor, peak factor and power consumed when it flows through 10 ohm. Purposely I have selected this numerical so that all the calculations will be covered and you will come to know how to solve the numericals. What could be the another variation in such numericals? This is the given equation. What is the given equation in this case? This is the 
alternating current it can be like this i or in, in it can be written i of t anything will do so it is 14.14 sin 100 pi t instead of that directly in the question it would have been mentioned like this value of uh, maximum current is 14.14 and do the calculation of any one of these parameters now this is the given equation from the given equation what we are interested in we have to do all these calculations first part is maximum value of current forget about sine cosine term whatever the amplitude is there associated with sine or cosine term that represents the maximum value since it is the equation of current it is maximum value of current so in this case i will write i m that, that is maximum or peak value is 14.14 since it is current its unit is ampere very simple this is the answer of first part second rms value of current i have written all the formulae do remember if you know these five formulae you can attempt any numerical so second part is rms value it is given as i rms is equals to 1 by root 2 times i am talking about second formula into maximum value maximum value is i m into 14.14 so if you do these calculations, then this value will be 9.9984 amperes. This is the answer of second part. Third part, average value of current. Very straightforward numerical. Uh, if you know the formula, you can attempt uh, all such numericals. So average value of current is I average, which is for, I'm using third formula, 0.637 into maximum value. Maximum value is I m. So into 14.14. So answer of this average current will be 9.0071 amperes. Next is the form factor. Form factor is Kf which is ratio of RMS to the average value. So I will write this as form factor is Kf is ratio of RMS to the average value that means in this case I RMS upon I average so simply put the values I RMS is 9.9984 upon I average and average value of current 9.0071 so answer of KF will be 1.11 next calculation is uh, fifth calculation peak factor peak factor of is kp which is also called crushed factor do remember this name peak value upon rms value that means in this case i m upon i rms so put the values i m is 14.14 upon rms current rms current is uh, 9.9984 again perform these calculations the answer will be 1.414 now the last part it is somewhat different power consumed when it flows through 10 ohm resistance that means value of resistance is given it is 10 ohm and it is asked to calculate the power consumed do remember one basic thing of power power is basically current square into resistance this is the formula you might have used up till now but Keep in mind, this current is always and always RMS current. It is not average or peak current. So it is I RMS square into R. Simply put the values. I RMS is 9.9984. It's square into resistance. Resistance is given as 10 ohm. So if you do these calculations, then answer will be 999.68. Since it is the value of power, its unit is a bat. So, dear students, I have covered all the types of variations that can be uh, asked related to the AC fundamental quantity. So, you just have to memorize this formula. So, that's it for today's session. Thanks for attending this session. Thank you very much.